filmmaker, so I'm going to tell you a story. I'm a storyteller. In 1981, my parents moved to Lake Havasu City, Arizona. I guess they thought it was some kind of oasis in the desert or something. But as a teenager, it sucked. <laughs> my life in Havasu was a little unsatisfying. Much like Ali Sheedy's character in The Breakfast Club, my home life, or actually unlike her, my home life was not unsatisfying. My parents were teachers and instilled the love of learning in both myself and my sister. School kind of sucked for me. I was bullied, I was teased, and I needed something to give me hope. And I found punk rock. I was initially, I was initially drawn to that subculture because they had really cool buttons. But punk rock taught me some lessons and values that I still hold dear today. Un it wasn't just about buttons and crazy hair and ripped up clothing. It was a lot more than that to me. Um, it was about being an individual, or at least being comfortable and trying to figure out who the hell you were in a difficult time as a teenager. The DIY ethic was another big part of this subculture. If you didn't have something, you made it. Back when I was listening to punk music, we didn't have a hot topic. We, went, we had St. Vincent de Paul, all right? We went, we found old golf pants, and we sewed stuff to it. But what really intrigued me was the political nature of a lot of these lyrics. It opened my eyes. I mean, I was 16, I didn't know anything. It opened my eyes to what was going on in the world and what could happen and how one person could have a voice and, do, and make a difference. Um, when we wanted, you know, Havis was boring, so we would start shows and we would drive around with homemade photocopied flyers and plaster town with them and try to get people to come to our shows. So we would have something to do. So I thought to myself, I would love to be in a punk rock band but then I found out you had to have musical talent, <laughs> which I didn't. But I found what I was good at, and it was filmmaking. I found my creative expression through video and making film. This is something that I still love to do. I'm a local Arizona filmmaker, and, um, and I swore I would not be a teacher like my parents. But it's in the blood, and I teach film at Arcadia High School in the Scottsdale School District. I couldn't deny it. In the classroom, I noticed something. Not a lot has changed for teenagers. And some of these kids were almost more apathetic than I was, which is pretty, pretty hard to do. And I just wanted to grab them and wake them up and say, hey, what are you doing? The thing that grabbed me was punk rock. But they didn't have that, or a lot of them didn't. So six kids came to me and they said, we want to do a documentary. And I was like, there's my chance. My chance to exploit my students' work and get rich and famous. <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously though, I told them find something accessible, something that's around you that's an important issue. And they chose the issue of illegal immigration. They interviewed Sheriff Joe, they interviewed Russell Pierce, they interviewed undocumented aliens. They interviewed all kinds of people. And I encourage them, find th what you feel is the truth. Some of them chose the left, some of them chose the right, and some of them didn't know. But their film, called The Border, played for three weeks in local theaters. What started as a 15-minute project, started as a 15-minute project. Cuba Gooding Jr. said it best when we met him at the Phoenix Film Festival. He called them pimps and scholars. <laughs> These guys were rock stars. So this 15-minute film turned into a full-blown feature film, played for three weeks in local theaters. I felt more like a publicist than a teacher. I was getting calls from national producers. I was getting calls from local news stations, newspapers. There were people interviewing them all the time. So I'm driving around the Arcadia neighborhood, and I have a stack of flyers in my passenger seat, and I'm listening to Bad Religion. And I go, not a lot has changed. They helped me realize that what I learned listening to punk rock is, is still in me, and I think I accidentally infused that in them. One lesson I learned is be true to who you are. I want you guys to take these, away, these lessons away with you tonight. Be true to who you are, all right? Don't let anybody tell you who to be. If it doesn't exi exist, make it. This documentary didn't exist. These kids made it. And lastly, what I think is the most important of all these lessons is be active in shaping the world around you, or it will shape you.
all have a voice. Use it. Punk's not dead. <laughs>